Well, let's see if I can teach you how to thread the needle and tie a knot. So I'm pretending to have a needle, okay? Needles are actually made of steel. They have a pointy end, and then there's an opening in the other end. It's called the eye of the needle. So I've made a pretend needle here, so hopefully you can see it. Um, so here's the pointy end, there's the eye of the needle. We have to get our thread, which comes on a little bobbin like this for your table. Um, we gotta get the thread through the eye of the needle, okay? So you're gonna pull the thread when you're ready to start sewing. You need two arm lengths of thread. So to do that, I'm gonna hold the end of the thread in one, one hand and then hold the bobbin and roll some thread out from my fingertips to my elbow. Then drop it, grab where it left off, and pull it a second time, fingertip to elbow. That's twice. And then use a pair of scissors to nip the thread. And that's the length of thread that we want to use. So two arm lengths of thread. All right, so we're going to pretend that this is two arm lengths, okay? And I chose this black color, so hopefully you can see it, or brown color. So you have to get the thread through the eye of the needle, which looks pretty easy with this big old fake needle, okay? It can be kind of tricky, but you can do it. So just slip the thread through the end. If the end of the thread gets a little frayed, like splayed out and it's hard to go through there, you can, since you just cut it off the bobbin, take it and lick it, like put it in your mouth and just kind of wipe it across your tongue. Or you can get a little water on your fingers and smooth the threads back down so you can go through the eye of the needle. Okay, so I've got my thread onto my needle. I need to put the two tail ends together and then slide the needle to the middle of this thread. Okay, so the needle's hanging out in the middle and my two ends are together. Now the way that I tie the knot, I hold the two ends with my right hand since I'm a right-handed person I point my left hand like finger guns, okay? I'm going to grab the threads with my ring and pinky finger and then slip the ends of the tail, the two tail ends over my fingers like this. Then I bring it behind. Might have to get a little slack in there. And then I'm going to make an X. So I come across the front of my fingers, okay? With your thumb, hold the tail end so it's sitting across your hand. So here's the needle hanging loose out of my left hand. The tail ends went over my fingers, behind the fingers, make an X, hold them in place. So the tail ends are sitting on the back of my hand. All right, so I'm gonna split my fingers apart. I'm gonna reach through with my right hand, grab those two tail ends, slip them through the loop that was on your fingers, and then get your fingers out of there. So I'm holding the tail in and I'm slipping my finger out. So now I have like a little pretzel with the thread. I've got to get this pretzel to the tail end of the thread, not to the needle, but to the tail end. So I can just kind of work that loose knot, that loose pretzel down toward the ends of the thread to the tail ends. And when I get about an inch from the end, I can pull tight. Okay, so in order to have mastered knotting, you need to show me that you can have a pretend needle on the opposite end, and then the two tail ends are knotted together like this. Watch this video several times until you get it right. I'm gonna do it one more time for you without talking. Okay, so my needle is there, two tail ends.